Good day everyone, I'm Denise and this will be your week 5 task in Earth Science. The following are the lessons contained in this module. Geothermal and hydroelectric energy and Earth's water resources. At the end of this module entitled Earth's energy and water resource, you should be able to explain how heat from inside the Earth geothermal and from flowing water is tapped as a source of energy, and identify the various water resources on Earth. But before we begin to discuss our lesson for today, answer what I know test. For item 1 to 12, just select the letter of the best answer from the given choices. For item 13 to 17, you have to arrange in chronological order the process involved in geothermal power plants. Write letters A and E in the space provided before each number that shows the correct order. Lastly, for numbers 18 to 20, you have to enumerate So let's proceed to our first lesson in this module entitled Geothermal and Hydroelectric Energy. In this lesson, you will discover some important source of energy and how these are tapped in power plants to produce electricity. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to explain how heat from inside the earth and from flowing water hydroelectric is tapped as a source of energy for human use. First written work on what's new activity 1 entitled cross puzzle energizer you have to be energized complete this crossword puzzle as fast as you can read the description given in the clue section below carefully so you could be able to arrange correctly the scrambled words after each description once you have deciphered the code write it down on the puzzle table What does the photo below tells you? Yes, energy resources. These are any source or supply that can be used to generate electricity. Above are just examples of energy resources. Can you name one? There are two types of energy resources, renewable and non-renewable. Renewable energy resources are natural source of energy that can be replenished over time. Thus, it does not deplete. It is often called clean energy. On the other hand, non-renewable energy resources are those energy resources that deplete and will not be replenished. Various Earth's resources can be tapped and used as a source of energy. Table 1 below shows several energy sources that are used in power plants to produce electricity in the field. In this lesson, we will focus on two energy resources, mainly geothermal energy and hydroelectric energy. Geothermal energy comes from the Greek word geo, means earth, and term, means heat. To define simply, geothermal energy is energy from the heat within the earth. Hydroelectric energy is where water can be a source of energy. Hydroelectric energy comes from the Greek word hydro, meaning water. Hydroelectric energy is an energy due to the flow of water. For your next activity on What's More, Activity 2, entitled Geothermal Power Plant. As you can see, the picture below shows the process of how geothermal energy is harvested to generate electricity in a geothermal power plant. All you have to do is study and analyze the flowchart with the given flowchart and write the description of each process beside each number. Refer to the scrambled process board given below the flowchart.
geothermal energy can be generated either in true geothermal power plants or geothermal heat pumps. The two differs in the depth of heat source to produce energy. Geothermal power plants use the heat from deep within the earth's surface to produce steam to generate electricity. On the other hand, geothermal heat pumps use heat just beneath the earth's surface in order to heat water or provide heat for the activity 2 from your previous activity is a flowchart that shows geothermal power plant works. Geothermal power plants are built in an area where it is particularly hot just below the surface, such those near a group of hot springs, geysers, or volcanic activity. How does geothermal power plants work? Well, in geothermal power plants, wells are drilled for about 1 to 2 miles deep beneath the earth's surface to pump steam or hot water to the surface. As the hot water rises to the surface, the pressure drops causing the hot water to turn into steam. The kinetic energy of the steam powers the turbine to spin. This converts kinetic energy to mechanical energy. The turbine is connected to a generator that converts mechanical energy to electricity. The electricity that produced in generator will flow to step-up transformers, raising the voltage so that it can travel long distances. The steam that is used to spin the turbine will undergo cooling in the cooling tower to condense the steam back to water. The water will be injected back to the earth's surface in an injection well. Process continues to sustain the supply of electricity. For a second written work on what's more, Activity 3 entitled Geothermal Power Plant in the Philippines. The table shows below are some fully operating thermal power plants in the Philippines. Finish the table by supplying its capacity, location, and region. Also, enumerate 5 advantages and disadvantages of geothermal power plants. The first column has filled with information for your guidance. Make some web research to do this activity. Great! I'm Marbar de los Santos. Let's proceed to your next task, shall we? For our next activity, the picture of hydroelectric power plant label with each part. Now explore the hydropower plant and identify the function of each part. Good luck learners! What is it? Reading and Analyzing Page 9 So learners, how do you think the hydroelectric energy work? Most hydroelectric power plants have a reservoir of water, a gate or valve to control how much water flows out to the reservoir, and an outlet or place where the water ends up flowing downward. Water gains potential energy just before it spills over the top of a dam or flows down a hill. The potential energy is converted into kinetic energy as it flows downhill. The water can be used to turn the blades of a turbine to generate electricity, which is distributed to power plants consumers. What's more? Activity 5 Page 9. Now that you know how hydroelectric energy works, let's proceed to your next task. For this activity, the table are some fully operating hydroelectric power plants in the Philippines. For your activity, finish the table by completing information of hydroelectric power plants. Good luck learners! What I have learned, activity 6, page 10. Moving on to your next task. In this activity, we will summarize what we have learned from our lesson today. Make a flow chart show how heat from the earth used as energy. Second, show the transformation of the energy is geothermal plant. Third, make a flow chart show how flowing of water used as energy resources. 
Fourth, show the transformation of energy in a geo hydroelectric power plant. And last question is, on your own opinion, are geothermal and hydroelectric power plant are good source of energy? And why? What I can do? Performance task, page 11. For your performance task, design and build diorama, a model representing a scene with three-dimensional figures. Show the process of geothermal or hydroelectric power plant and put their label for each. Be creative and use recycled materials or the thing that easily found in your house. Kindly follow the Rubik as your guide in creating diorama. Good luck learners! Congratulations learners! You're done in our lesson for today. See you in our next lesson learners.